What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with another Shep Pettibone remix. Indeed, I wanted to give a shout out to Izzy, he sent this tune over, uh, and indeed, this track is actually called a Shep Pettibone extended remix, where as I did the reaction to his remix of Pet Shop Boys West End Girls, um, I was calling it that, and then right before I got to the reaction, I realized that it's actually the master mix. But this one is an extended remix, it's from a Prince tune called Hot Thing. I'm not aware of the Prince original, I don't really know much about his catalog. I've heard Purple Rain, so I know I think most of the songs from that release. Uh, maybe one or two others over the years. I do remember my brother listening to, oh, what's that song that like, maybe you're just like my mother, she's never satisfied. I remember him listening to that tune, but I don't know if that's from Purple Rain or whether that's from a different album. Nevertheless, I'm not quite familiar with his catalog, but I do know his voice. I do know his sort of visual aesthetic and his sort of like larger than life sort of persona on the stage. Um, so on some level, I'm aware of what a Prince tune would sound like, though I don't think I know this one specifically. Uh, and yeah, ultimately, uh, Izzy made the point that the original Prince tune actually helped inspire the Duran Duran song, I Don't Want Your Love, and incidentally, Shep Pettibone remixed both tracks. Um, so I thought that was a cool little twist. Shout out to Izzy for passing that along. Uh, and yeah, we're going to listen to an extended remix by Shep Pettibone of Prince's Hot Thing. Um, I might be thinking about the tune, uh, the Duran tune, I Don't Want Your Love, given that connection and, you know, hearing whether there's some sonic moments where it's like, ah, like I can see what Duran um, wanted to do with that. So, uh, yeah, that'll be in my mind, but ultimately, you know, hot thing, it's a phrase that makes me think about, you know, someone who is perceived as hot, whether that's, a you know, an assessment of their... Um, their visual appeal or maybe just their, you know, sort of persona in general. Um, hot thing could be something that's new and hip and everyone wants, you know, it's sort of a trend, a fad, um, and so everyone wants to, you know, experience it or like have it for themselves, so it could be, um, you know, running in that conceptual direction. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Let's get it. This is the Shep Pettibone extended remix of the Prince tune, Hot Thing, which once again, I believe, helped inspire Duran Duran's I Don't Want Your Love.
Uh, yeah, so it's weird to me, like, when I do these reactions and I have, you know, the various experiences. Sometimes, you know, I'm kind of keying in on the sonic, sometimes I'm focusing um, on the lyrics a bit more, um, and sometimes it's just like the, you know, complete perplexity of my brain, which, you know, see like Japan reactions or like Roxy music, maybe Simple Minds. Um, but ultimately, it's like each experience is a bit different, and, you know, it's funny, I just reacted to a, re a similarly timed reaction or remix by Shep Pettibone of a Pet Shop Boys tune. And the experience of that is like, wow, that was really cool, but wow, I thought it was nine minutes. Oh, that was nine minutes? Whereas this, you know, it felt like a six, seven, eight minutes. It felt like it was as long as it was, but I loved it. And, you know, shout out to Izzy and anyone who sort of draws my attention to tunes that have really great saxophone, because the sax in that one is brilliant. So again, it does make me wonder, you know, maybe the sax was in the original, but perhaps not as extended or not as much as it was in this remix. Um, yeah, so whether Izzy or otherwise, do uh, shout it out. Let me know if, um, you know, some of the elements that we heard here are full-on additions or if they were just reconfigurations and extensions of building blocks that are already in the original tune. Um, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, you know, retroactively make a Shep Pettibone um, uh, playlist and you know I'll have to go back and I can keyword search and you know just put them all in the proper order um, but yeah like uh, when the next time I sort of curate my videos which you know I shoot so many of them sometimes it's like I need to take a day or at least a half a day to kind of like okay I gotta update this playlist and so on nevertheless these are my struggles uh, but the point is um, I will get a Shep Pettibone um, reaction playlist going because I feel like you know he's remixing other people's tunes but like there's enough of a sort of flavor and a style here of his own um, that I feel like it deserves its own playlist. So in any case, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.